It's been a hard month for Nashville. The flood damaged or destroyed thousands of homes and businesses in our community, took several of our neighbors' lives, and left a mark on our city that will not be forgotten. On May 2nd, we were reminded of how powerful Mother Nature can be, and just how quickly our lives can get turned upside down. But after the waters receded, we learned some even more important lessons about ourselves. We learned that in a time of crisis, Nashvillians come together. That when neighbors are in need, our city pitches in to help. From Bellevue to Bordeaux, from downtown to Donaldson, thousands of Nashvillians have spent countless hours pushing wheelbarrows, tearing out drywall. They've cleaned strangers' houses and offered them warm meals to eat, as well as shoulders to cry on. Nashville really rose to the occasion. It's been an amazing thing to be part of, and it's made me prouder than ever that my wife and son and I call this city home. After all, we take care of each other here. We are a community. We are Nashville. But while Tennesseans are setting a high standard for working together to solve problems, our legislature is letting us down. In the weeks since the flood, state legislators have gone right back to the same old sideshow politics of the past. They overrode Governor Bredesen's veto and voted to allow guns and bars. They wasted time and money debating a meaningless resolution in support of Arizona's divisive new immigration law. Instead of finding a responsible solution to our state's budget problems, they're cutting a program that saves the lives of babies during infancy, at a time when Tennessee's infant mortality rate is already unacceptably high. Indeed, they can't even pass a state budget because they're too busy fighting over a fish hatchery in East Tennessee. What I'm saying is Tennesseans have spent the last month showing the world that we can lift ourselves up and solve big problems together. At the same time, our state legislature is showing the world that instead of solving big problems, it's still dominated by small politics. We can do better. Tennesseans deserve a legislature that meets the high expectations that we set for ourselves. After winning the federal race to the top competition, Tennessee is poised to lead the nation in education reform. But it's not going to happen without serious, forward-thinking leadership in the Capitol. I'm running for the state Senate because I believe Tennesseans deserve new le leadership in the state legislature. The kind of leadership that calls on us to expect more of our state and of each other. If you're interested in joining this campaign, please stop by our new campaign headquarters at 21st and Blair, or visit our campaign's website at yarbro2010.com. Thank you.